Look, I don't need to say a lot here. All right, cheesy dip, chips, Texas. It's a beautiful thing. One of the very few times, yet again, that you're gonna see me talking about something that may not seem very Josh-like. And by that I mean, it's not fancy. Not everything I eat is fancy, guys, all right? There's some things that I like that are just damn right nasty, and this is one of them. We're gonna make two different versions. We're gonna make the traditional version, which is unfortunately with like American cheese, and we're gonna make Josh's fancy version. So with all that said, let's make this, shall we? Right, so you can't have queso without chips. I've made my own tortilla chips a few times already on this channel, like in the Doritos, but better video. So if you'd like to know how I made my own tortilla chips, the link is in the description. Now let's talk about the main event, the queso. And not chili cone carne queso, I'm talking Texas queso. You know that like yellowish stuff you see in Austin, Texas, blip, blap, blow. First up is the unfortunately fake cheese, albeit traditional version. In a medium saucepan, add two tablespoons of neutral tasting oil, heat that over medium heat until very hot, then add one medium yellow onion that's been diced, followed by two finely diced jalapenos, season that to taste with salt, stir, and let those sweat until, oop, Dang, you see that thing fly on my hand like that? It was like coming after me. Onions love papa. Anyway, once those just begin to soften, add in three cloves of rough chopped garlic, saute until everything is softened and fragrant, about two to three minutes. Stir in one nice and ripe diced tomato and saute just until the tomato is hot. Then add three quarters of a pound of fresh grated, here it is boys, my nightmare, American cheese. <laughs> and a quarter pound of pepper jack cheese, also grated. Immediately followed by one cup of whole milk, you don't need a roux here, on account of the good old fashioned engineered spice cheese. Continue heating over medium heat while stirring constantly until silky smooth and looking something like this. Season that to taste with salt and finish it with a quarter cup of fresh and finely chopped cilantro. Pop that in there, stir that bad boy, and look, if you live anywhere in Texas, this should look quite familiar to you. So get that into a bowl, top it with some fresh diced tomato, rough chopped cilantro, and look at that. That looks like a proper queso if I've ever seen one. Despite the fact that we use fake cheese, but whatever. We'll just overlook that. Now let's jump over and try something a little more culinarian. That's a word, right? We're using nicer cheese here. A classy, lightly aged cheddar and a cave aged gruyere. First thing, start with two and a half tablespoons of unsalted butter in a medium sauce pot. Heat that over medium heat just until the butter is melted. Then add two finely diced shallots. I mean like really fine. And four serranos that have been optionally seeded and sliced. Finally, three cloves of rough chopped garlic. Season that to taste with salt and fresh cracked black pepper to taste. Stir and cook until all the veg is nicely softened. About two to three minutes. Sprinkle in two tablespoons of all purpose flour. Stir to combine and cook stirring occasionally for about 30 seconds, then whisk in one cup of whole milk. Keep whisking and heating just until that thickens. You've now made a bechamel. In a separate bowl, mix together four and a half cups of shredded cheddar cheese and one cup of shredded Gruyere cheese. Whisk that cheese mixture into your bechamel a little bit at a time until all of it is added. Turn off the heat and continuously whisk until the cheese is completely melted and you have a nice, smooth queso. Finally, finish that off with a half cup of sour cream and that's the full fatty version. Whisk that in thoroughly, adjust salt and pepper levels if necessary. Now, we have our queso, but let's talk about plate up, or bowl up, I guess. First, get a beautifully ripe avocado, assuming you have some sort of advanced avocado seeking abilities, which you should at this point. Dice it up as chunky or as small as you like. Place a generous mound in the center of your bowl. Hit it with some flaky salt. Now pour your hot, cheesy queso on top. That's uh, redundant. Until you've completely hidden the avocado. Start by garnishing it with some nicely arranged pickled onions, very thinly sliced serrano chilies, some daintily placed cilantro leaves, and finally, sling on a nice drizzle of your hot sauce of choice. This one is a classic Valentina hot sauce. Now that right there looks like an upgraded queso, not queso. Now let's taste test this and see if it holds a candle to the stinky, poopy, fake cheese. Woo! We have queso times two. That's, oh, that's dose. That doesn't really, dueso. We have the traditional, the Velveeta American cheese. Look, this is one of the very few things where I actually might prefer this. I don't know. And then we have the fancier, more thought out, more soigné queso. Now, traditional, Texas queso. I mean, it's a classic. Am I gonna freak out about it? No. But I will say that this tastes identical to any cantina or Mexican restaurant that you go to in the Central Texas area. The, the fancy one has sat for a while, so it might be, oh, it's not actually. Get a little bit of everything here. Hold on, hold on now. Mm. This is a toss up. I like the kick of this too. This is obviously spicier. Man, this is tough. Here's how I balance this out. I don't know if there's a clear winner, but texturally, the original traditional queso, 
I had no idea if that was gonna work or not. Texturally, this is the winner, the traditional version. Now, flavor-wise, undeniably, undeniably, this is better. You've got that rich cheese. You can really, there's like a level of umami from the cheese that you do not get from this. This is almost like, it's like Kraft Singles, basically. And you got the kick from the spice. I don't know if I can make a favorite. I like them both very much. Look, if you're a traditionalist, this is for you. You're forward thinking. We need, we need a native Houston, Texas opinion. We'll go with the OG first. Raw Cheerio, proper. Yeah, I went to Papacitos three days ago. It's very similar. Some hot sauce. Honestly, I like the traditional. Yeah, that this, was exactly this, this, my- this, this tastes like every time I was away from Houston as a yeah. kid, came home, got off the plane, and went to a Mexican restaurant right away. Mm -hmm. It's almost like traditionally speaking, when you're having queso, it, it almost needs to be that sort of like neon yellow fake cheese. It's nostalgia and it's the Texas way. You wanna know what else oozes hot, steamy cheese into the back of your throat? B-roll. Guys, and that is it. So we made our queso, two versions. We had the traditional with fake cheese, yucky. And then we had the sort of fancier version that was made with a roux base. So it was essentially an ultra cheesy Mornay, I suppose. We've been making a lot of Mornay sauces around here, haven't we? Sitting back, looking at both of them, they're both beautiful in their own way. If you're a queso traditionalist, you're kind of low key gonna want the American cheese version, unfortunately. There's no way around it. Now, if you haven't had it before, you should definitely try the fancy version first. Enjoy that, enjoy the palate tantalization, and then try the unfancy version. I think you'll find the beauty in both after doing it that way. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video or you learned something, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you 